dying to flesh, but yet to be able to reign with Christ as he reigned in his resurrection. Having that same power, having that same access to God. When we die to our flesh, see that's what you got to get folk to understand. When we die to that flesh, we have access to the same power that got Jesus up on the third day. <clears throat> Now, if you got access to that same power that got a dead man up on the third day, what is not exciting about that? <laughs> every issue, every problem, every concern, every worry that I had, I have access to a power that can handle all that. Amen? But we have to die to the flesh. We have to die to our lust. We can't, we can't follow the lust, as exciting as it may have been, to follow the lust of our flesh. Amen? Amen. It's even more exciting to have a power or have access to a power that can make dead things live. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, I don't know about y'all, but that's really exciting. I got that kind of power. Huh? That whatever situation I'm in, I ain't got to die in it. I can live in it, and not only can I live in it, I can raise up and have all power over it. That's what I'm talking about. Huh? <laughs> That's all right. I'll die to my faith. God, what you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> I got the victory. You got the victory. <laughs> We can raise up. So basically that tells me ain't no situation I can't raise up out of and leave. Mm -hmm. Amen? That's right. Even if I leave this earth, according to the word I got, I can spend eternity with God. Mm -hmm. I still ain't there. Right. I'm going to live with Christ and God. That's right. Amen? Amen? So I have, so I have power over physical death. According to the word. That's right. Exactly. I got power over physical death and I got power over spiritual death. Through Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Me, I don't, there is no situation I got to die in. That's good. Mm -hmm. None. And that takes faith. If you believe that, that I don't care what you go through, I don't care what trial you go through, I don't care what tribulation you have at has. In your, is in your life, there ain't none of them you got to die in. None of them. If you, got, if you die to your flesh and live in the spirit. Amen? Amen. Amen. What's not a sign about that? <clears throat> I give up smoking and drinking. <laughs> Sex. Outside of marriage. <laughs> Find me somebody, Lord. Yes. yes. Thank you, Lord, for finding me somebody. I, yeah, I give up sex outside of marriage. <laughs> but I don't have to die in that. Amen? Because if I don't follow lust in my flesh, then Lord will bless me with whatever I need to get through that. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. So why continue in sin knowing that sin leads to death? But if I focus and spend my life in following the spirit, I can live. Why continue? Even though it feels good, it feels even better to be able to raise up out of a dead situation. Amen? I don't care how good that sin felt. The power of being able to raise up out of a dead situation looks a lot more appealing to me. To God be the glory. Amen. So, therefore, we are buried with him by baptism. This is Romans 6 and 4. Buried with him and by baptism into death, that life as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of the life. So this is a whole new way of living. <clears throat> whole newness of life. When we die to our flesh and live by the Spirit. There ain't nothing we got to die in. We have a newness of life. 
We are buried and we are buried a natural man and we are raised a spiritual man. So I died to the flesh and now I'm following a spirit. I'm following the Holy Spirit to do whatever I need to get done. We are a new creature. Why? Because I don't follow my, the lust of my flesh. I'm new. That's why you mess up some folk when they be like, I knew you when you won't say it. And now I know you and you say, you can't, the same thing can't trip me up this time. You can't trip me this time. <laughs> Amen? Why? Because I'm not following my flesh. You can't present me with fleshly things or fleshly situations and think I'm going to follow them. I'm not going to follow my flesh. I'm going to follow the spirit. Mess the, it, mess the devil up like that because that's how the devil going to come to us. He going to come trying to satisfy our flesh. Try to, try to uh, 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 appeal to the flesh. <coughs> but we have the victory because we don't even go that way. We're going to follow the spirit. Going to mess the devil all up. That's how we get the victory. Because he thinks we're going to follow the flesh. And many of us do. But those of us who don't, devil defeat. So let's think about the devil. When you come over something, that rascal don't never give up. He'll keep showing it to you. He'll keep showing it to you. Just hit. I mean, you can be delivered for something. For three or four years down the road. And that rascal, you be, you be driving down the road. Having a good time. Finding your own business. Finding your own business. And here he comes. Like, don't you know? Look, and that's right. And then you're looking at him like, don't you, don't you know? I was delivered from that like three, four years ago. And then his, and his, and he looked at my. I just thought maybe it still might work. And if you skip a day, it might have. Right. Yeah. Oh, you know how we do. We, some, and, and that's a good point because that's why you have to continue in the Word. You got to continue in Christ Jesus. In, in, in order to be his disciples, you got to continue. Because let the devil catch you on an off day, that thing going to look real good and it's going to work. That's why he keep trying, because he hoping he can catch you on an off day. <laughs> and for many of us, he has. Because <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to have a couple days. Like, okay, he got me today. He got me on down. <laughs> And that's why, again, it's very important that we continue our relationship with God. We can't start a relationship with him and then decide we're going to do it our own way. Look what happened to Peter when he was walking on water. And the Lord said, come on now here, here, you can walk on water, but you got to keep your focus on me or else you're going to sink. And Peter ended up taking his focus off of, of Jesus. He had an off day. Amen? And the thing that he was able to do through Christ Jesus, he was unable to do because he took his eyes off Christ. And so many times, if the enemy can catch us without focus off, amen? Y'all know it's true. This is a daily thing. This, I don't know, but it's a daily thing. And, and you're right. He don't give up because he's hoping that he can catch us off. And sometimes he do. But I'm saying, though, if we continue... Amen? And that's why we can, that's that learning process. That's right. Knowing that I can't not continue mm -hmm. in God. I can't, you know, I can't skip out on God. I can't skip a day. I can't, you know, if I'm supposed to be doing something, I can't. Prayer is important. Still, I can't, if you start out with Christ, you cannot decide I'm not going to do that no more. Because that's when the enemy can catch you. Because just like the other ass said, he don't ever give up. Amen? Amen. You think that he resting. He ain't resting. He waiting for you to rest. Yep. He waiting for you to give up. Amen? He waiting for you to give up, for you to decide, I ain't following. I, I'm just, I'm going to follow me today. And that's when he can come and catch you. <clears throat> Amen. So again, continue in God. Continue in prayer. Continue in relationship. Don't get lax. Because as soon as you get lax, the enemy going to try to catch us. But that's why we've always got to keep going to level, from level to level, from glory to glory. Because God is always moving. And what happens is if God is moving and we decide we're going to quit, 
give up, get tired, sit still, get stagnant, then that's when the enemy going to catch us because we're going to be outside of the will of God. Or we're going to be outside of the hedge of protection because God done moved on. He done told us to keep it moving and we decide we're going to sit and be stagnant. The enemy will catch us. Amen? Amen. Right. Amen. So all, we always got to keep it moving in Christ Jesus. All right. <clears throat> And it says, uh, we are burning natural man, raising a spiritual man. We are new creatures. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things are made new. We are born again and not of corruptible flesh, but of the spirit of God. We walk no longer in the lust of the flesh, but with the guidance of the spirit of God within us. So we're no longer going to walk in accordance to the lust of the flesh. Amen. We're going to walk according to the Spirit of God. Romans 6 and 5, somebody read. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of I have a reader tonight. We shall also be in the likeness of his resurrection. Amen. So again, again, as before, when we were talking about the difference between the death and the life, what it's saying here is if we learn how to basically Give up the lust of the flesh. Give up all of that stuff that we thought was so, we feel was so um, um, exciting and, and that miserable life of sin that we thought was so exciting. If we learn how to give that up according to how Christ gave his life, we will reign with him. So that's the, the, beauty, the beauty of ashes or the trade there, uh, uh, the great exchange, as they say. If I learn how to give up the lust, the lust of the flesh, following the lust of the flesh, I will gain the power through resurrection, through the resurrection. If I die with Christ in the flesh like he did, then I can raise with Christ like he did in the power of a spiritual man. Amen? So the point is, is in order for us to gain, we got to give up. And make God, make Christ Lord over our lives. There's some things that we've got to give up to gain. Hallelujah. And we're not just, and then for us who are in Christ, that don't mean that's just not from going from being saved, being not saved to being saved. That's going from level to level. Many of us find ourselves in a situation where God is calling us to a higher place or a higher level in Him or a deeper relationship in Him, and He calls us to give up something. And a lot of times it has to do with what my flesh wants. And we give it up to gain a higher level in God or a deeper relationship with Him. And trust me, the more you spend with time with God, the more you spend in Christ with your relationship with God, there's going to be, you're going to be giving up. You're going to be shaped. Because the, the words say, Paul said, I die daily. My flesh dies every day because every day God is calling me to a high level. And every time he's calling me to a high level, I'm having to give up something in my flesh. Some, some, for some of us, it's just dealing with our attitude. <laughs> some of us got that other stuff. We know how to not do that other stuff. But some of us, we just, God working with our attitude, taking our attitude to a whole nother level. Take, taking our tolerance to a whole nother level. Our ability to go through to a whole nother level. Amen? It's like we talked about before, some of our faith to another level. Our trials, our tribulations seem to get harder only because God wants us to believe him for more. Amen? That's our flesh. Because our flesh wants to believe in the beat up pinto sitting in the yard. <laughs>
And that's bad. <laughs> I mean, really, I have seen them cars held together with duct tape. Okay, at some point you've had to give it up. <laughs> give up the guns. <laughs> but again, and that's a great example, amen. You come out, and you're going to keep cranking that pinto, and you're going to be like, oh, I'm going to rely on this pinto to get me where I need to go. Boom, boom, pound that scene. You know, you come out the next morning, and that stuff is going to crank no more. Then what you gonna do? You gonna have to trust God to put some gas in that Bentley that you even trying to get you to drive. Because <laughs> you're trying to say the Bentley for special occasions. Uh, yes, but know. every day is special. <laughs> like, okay. Just drive it on Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just drive it. This is my Sunday car. <laughs> Let me go to meet car. <laughs> I'm gonna look like it. Oh, and, and again, it's a great example because at some point that thing that you relied on and you called old faithful and you always went to, after a while, it ain't going to work no more. And you're going to have to end up doing what God asked you to do anyway That's right. in the first place. Amen? I don't know how we got on that. Amen? But somebody definitely needed it. <laughs> you can't, uh, but the word, it says all things have passed away. You are a new preacher. You are the Bentley. You used to be an old beat up pinto. Walk like you're a Bentley. <laughs> Every day. Every day. Let the Holy Spirit drive you like a Bentley. And stop trying to drive yourself in an old beat up pinto. Amen. Good God Almighty. Look at God. He everywhere. He in your driveway. <laughs> Let go of the pinto. <laughs> amen to God we're about to close we got three minutes but again amen sin is the beat up pinto you don't have to drive the pinto trust God for the bed amen <laughs> amen um, but again we talk about old things pass away you don't have to uh, 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 we no longer walk in the lust of the flesh if you die in Christ give up again as we go from level to level God is going to ask us to give up some things in our flesh and for many of us it's just, some of us it's just a faith thing it's believing more in the spirit and less of my flesh because let the truth be known some of us we still believe in our flesh and according to the word ain't nothing good in the flesh and so every day, as, as the word says, we die daily, every day, God is trying to get us to depend less on our flesh and more on his spirit within us. And so if nothing else, that's our death. For many of us, every day, that's the death we have to, we go through. Amen. Or that's the, what we have to give up on a daily basis. Amen. To keep continually to rise in power. In Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen? Keep rising in power. But the only way we're going to keep rising in the power of Christ is if we let go of some of the fleshly desires. And sometimes, again, some of our fleshly desires is just a matter of, I got to have the last word. <laughs> in the argument. You know, I mean, so for many of us, to whom much is given, much is required. That path gets narrower and narrower, and the closer we get to God, He winks less and less. <laughs> Amen. Because again, to whom much is given, much is required. And those of us who know better, He expects us to do better. Amen. And, and, and those of us connected to Him, and those who, of us who are producing fruit, we, He gonna He gonna uh, uh, prune us to produce more fruit. Amen. So we're going to have some trials and tribulations just so he can squeeze that anointing out of us. <clears throat> to God be the glory. All right. Well, that was awesome. We're going to continue. Again, we're, we're still in chapter 6. Uh, but we'll continue that next week in Bible study. Uh, 7.30 uh, uh, on Tuesday next week here at Truth for Life Ministries. Again, where the senior pastor is Elder Eric Spruill. And I am yours truly, Pastor Carmen Spruill. <laughs> She is. <laughs> she moving her lips and she's moving her lips the same time I'm talking. She's saying the same thing I'm saying. You
You might have to keep doing that so I won't forget. <laughs> again, I am Pastor Corona Screw, and again, join us next week again here at Bible Study at 2940 Wakefield Pines Drive, Unit 107, Raleigh, North Carolina, 27614. Amen. And again, join us on Sunday. This is second Sunday, so we'll begin service at 11 a.m. here at Two for Life Ministry. So please join us. If not here, we will be streaming live. So join us on the internet. We love you. God bless you. And as my pastor say, may heaven smile upon you. <laughs> to God be the glory. <laughs>